Writing is an important part of language learning. As Professor Kodos explained, writing can allow learners to actively use the grammar and vocabulary taught in previous lessons. This can be especially important for young learners as they are learning the grammatical patterns of the new language. Teachers can choose from the many technology tools that make the writing process enjoyable for young learners. In this video, we will show how to make writing fun by starting with a story that prompts the learners to write their own stories. For example, we can start by watching an Aesop's fable such as The Ant and the Grasshopper to activate learner schema. You can also choose a story from a book or a song depending on vocabulary covered in previous lessons. The story activity can be followed by a discussion about the purpose of the story, the audience, and the main characters. The teacher can then discuss the main components of the narrative. Next, the teacher can engage the learners in a pre-writing planning process with brainstorming activities. Great technology tools for pre-writing are the story map that can help learners present their ideas regarding story characters, the conflict, and setting. The learners can either write a different ending for the fable or write a new story. If you are teaching higher level learners, we suggest exploring the essay map, which can also serve as pre-writing guidance for outlining essays. The website readwritething.org offers a large number of lesson plans resources, and ideas on using technology to teach writing, including using infographics, comics, maps, and games. The next step includes the drafting stage of the writing process. As Dr. Kodos mentioned in her lecture, writing is a process consisting of several steps, including planning, drafting, revising, editing, and proofreading. If your learners are at a higher level, you may use the most dangerous writing app to encourage flow of thoughts and free writing to overcome writer's block. With this tool, if the students stop writing within five seconds, the writing process disappears and they can download their draft. This tool may only be appropriate for learners whose writing skills are more advanced. The use of this tool can encourage free writing and focus learners' attention on generating ideas instead of accuracy during free writing. For the young learners, we suggest using a word processing tool such as Microsoft Word. The learners may type their story in this tool using simple short sentences. This tool will provide automatic feedback on learners' spelling mistakes, but they can also be encouraged to use the synonym feature to increase their vocabulary. Finally, the Comic Creator is a fun tool that can be used to create a short comic and boost the learner's creativity. The Comic Creator allows the learners to add characters, such as people or animals, various props, including simple words, and speech bubbles, where the learners can add the character's words. The learners can be organized into small groups to present their stories. If the learners are on intermediate level, they can share their stories via emails and give each other feedback for improvement. For the younger learners, the drafts can be emailed to the teacher for feedback, leading to the editing and proofreading stage. This lesson can be concluded by asking the students to reflect on their experience. They can write a short reflection following simple prompts by the teacher, such as, what have you learned in this process? or what is your favorite part or character in your story. Developing writing skills is very important in second language learning, and by integrating technology in this process, we can enhance learners' ability to put their knowledge into practice in a fun and low-stress environment.